hashtag so profesh. Hey guys, welcome back to my world. Where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And today we're gonna open some more na 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 surprise dolls because this wave four, four series four, has some of the cutest dolls ever. So I've got my my. Where's my sisters? I don't even know where they are right now. Wait, wait, no, wait. They're around here somewhere. Somewhere on one of the shelves. Oh, there they are, there they are. You can't see them, they're on the third shelf. So I've got my flower child and my tie-dye chick over there. I think they are really cute. And um, the cool thing about Na 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 Surprise is in addition to them being really unique in the way they're constructed is that while there is a surprise element, they have this little coded sticker on them. So parents, as you're buying these, in order to make sure that you're not buying two of the same thing, look for this little sticker. And as long as the stickers are different, you are buying different dolls. So for people in the know, those stickers let them know which doll is in there. Me, I just went by, ooh, different sticker. <laughs> That was my whole process there. So these are just under $20. They're $19.99. So they make a good gift. Um, I don't know how your family does stocking stuffers. This would be a little bit much for a stocking stuffer for my family, but um, they're, they're really cool. And uh, they're definitely a hot item this year, especially series three and series four, which both came out this year, have been really, really um, impressive. And as a collector, I didn't start collecting them until then. Thanks, MGA. Just take all my money, MGA. Okay, so um, it opens, and you stick your finger in this little hole back there, and you pull, and you pull, and you huff, and you huff. Eh, eh. Now, okay. So, the important thing to know about this, parents, aunts, uncles, cousins, grandparents, cool people who buy dolls and toys for kids is that there is a little bit of a mess factor. It's messy. Well, not messy in terms of it's gonna make goop or anything. Messy in terms of you're gonna need to vacuum. And you know what? It's 2020. Let the kids live a little, okay? Let them make messes that we can vacuum up. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. So you get this straw and you stick it in this spot over here and you inflate it, but not too much. I, by the way, am the queen of over inflating these, but I'm getting better at it. Okay, and mine keeps wanting to deflate. And then you pull off this little tab right here and then you go, yay! <laughs> And then we get it off the camera lens. Eh. It shoots confetti. <laughs> it's a very unusual thing to find in a doll packaging, but it's fun and it's unique. And, um, you know, for me, it makes a mess on the floor in my studio and then it gets tracked all over my house somehow. But so inside, inside the packaging, and I do, Unfortunately, I feel like there's just a little bit too much plastic packaging going on with this, uh, with these toys, but. So this is Panda. So we got the Panda chick. And let me show you guys the uh, choices. And I just think they are so beautiful. This uh, series four is just, let's see, I don't even know if that's in focus. Series four is just amazing. Amazing this time around. Moo. Um, it's just so, 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 so cool. And so she is called Julie Joyful and it's Julie with an I. I like that, I like that a lot. So let's open the first of our surprises. And this is, this should be her dress. <laughs> It's so weird, I'm crippled without long nails. It's like I don't, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Look at that, it's got little flower 
flowers, like, I mean, they need to be flattened out. Wow! Wow, and it's got a crinoline. I was not expecting this. Oh, wow, I mean, it looked pretty in the picture, but I didn't realize it was gonna be that pretty. Okay, and then this should be shoes. Oh, how cute. And of course, it's an Asian themed doll. So we have the geisha block shoes. And do you know why the wooden blocks? It's so that you would not get your feet soiled in all of the disgusting literal crap running down the streets as you walked to your, to your appointment. A little geisha lore there for you. If you've never read Memoirs of a Geisha, do that, do that, do that, do that. Memoirs of a Geisha is so good, so good. Oh, I need to rewrite, I need to rewrite that. I need to reread that. Okay, so then they come in this little palm, which is really, really cute because you can not only like store the doll in there, but you can use it for other stuff and you can hang it off your backpack. And if you were ever actually to go to school, it could be hanging off your backpack and it could hold some stuff snacks or whatever, if you were allowed to bring them to school. I don't even know anymore. And then inside there's more plastic and that's what kind of bugs me. I mean, cause it's, I know it's trying to keep the shape of the palm, but it's more plastic. And then we rescue her from there. Yay! And Julie is free. Oh, I just did something weird to her leg. Okay. Yay, you're free. Oh boy. So in the little na na na's, their hat in their and their hair are one. They are attached to each other and they do not have like a ton of hair. Her hair's looking really scraggly. Wow, a very thin amount of hair, I'm surprised. Doesn't it look kinda, it look like Julie's having a bad day. Um, oh, she's so cute though, look at her face. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, I love the color of her eyes and the little hint of makeup and I love her red lip. I've got, I've got hair stuck, to, fuzz stuck to my nails. Look at her red lip. What the heck is stuck on me? There's something stuck on my nails. Her undies even have a little bit of a Japanese feel to them. She's so cute. So cute. Now let's get her dress on. Oh, and we have two more, by the way. I have three to open today. And then I couldn't remember which ones I had and I was in Walmart and I was like, do I have this one? Do I not have this one? And I'm glad that I didn't buy it because I did already have it. Um, so thank you. Thank you, Brain, for saying, you know what? Take that out of the cart because I think we have that already. So the interesting thing about the na 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 surprise dolls is obviously you can tell there's something different about them. Parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, cool people who buy dolls for kids or themselves. They are cloth dolls. So this is cloth over like a rubbery plastic and they are semi, semi uh, posable in that they're bendable, but it doesn't stay. Like it doesn't have a wire in it. Um, like uh, their larger counterparts are more uh, uh, more, more poseable than these. Okay, she's adorable though. The dress is so cute. Look, it's a cherry blossom dress. And here in New Jersey, in Branchwick Park in Newark, we have the largest collection of cherry blossoms in the United States. And they were donated to the city of Newark by Japan, and I don't remember in what year, but we actually have more cherry blossoms than Washington, DC. Stick that in your pipe and smoke at Washington. <laughs> and the cherry blossom, like, like that's just always been like a big thing in my family. Gotta go, gotta go see the cherry blossoms. Gotta go see the cherry blossoms. In late April, early May, they're at their peak and like people get married at the time of year so that they can go take their pictures. So you're driving through like on a Saturday or Sunday and there's like different wedding groups all over Branchbrook Park getting their wedding photos taken with the cherry blossoms because they're beautiful. All right, our next one right here and I will put a link to these down below in the description. It will be an Amazon affiliate link and if you use it and you buy something, I get a little tiny commission. So thank you, because that means I can buy more dolls. Yes! 
because that's what I'm doing with my life this year. That's what I'm doing. I have, I have a video coming that is gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna blow your mind of what I did this year. We didn't go on vacation. We haven't been eating out. I had some money. I did something. But now that means I, can, I wanted to get an, a teeter inversion table and now I can't because I used all my money on dolls. Okay, so I'm gonna inflate this one. But it's very important, collector or not, not to spend money that you're gonna need for things like medical bills, food, utilities on dolls. On, you know, other discretional purchases, fine. Don't spend that money on dolls. Are you ready? Here we go. Yay! It is kind of fun. And then the confetti is really cute because it's like little, little um, animal shapes. Like there's a little bear shape, there's a little bunny, there's, then there's hearts and squares and circles and it's all over my house. All over, every room in the house. Every room in the house. It's even in the litter box. I'm not sure how it got in the litter box, but. <gasps> oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, this palm has curly hair. It's like, it's a poodle, right? Is it a poodle or is it a lamb? Wait, what is it? I'm so, oh, wait, here we go. It's the other, it's the other list. Here we go, here we go. There's the other list, aha! It is a poodle, I'm not crazy. Okay, well, yes I am. All right, so these are the other possibilities. Yes. I'm not, I'm not crazy. Okay, so I need to, uh, I gotta go shopping. I want them all. This is bad. This is really bad. MGA needs to stop. <laughs> I know your doll collectors out there are feeling it. It's like, please stop. Please, please, you're killing me right now. So I think she's got like a 50s vibe because it's a poodle skirt. Oh my gosh, it totally is. She's got the striped top. Oh my God, Jillian from Jillian and Addie would love this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that. It's, a, it's an actual poodle skirt. Poodle skirts in the 60s, 50s, not 60s. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Please tell me she has, oh my God. Please tell me she's got saddle shoes. <laughs> I had saddle shoes when I was in grammar school because, well, no, I was in high school. It was my freshman year in high school. I was a cheerleader for one year. One year. One whole year. Yes. She's got black and white. Are they done? Ah, she's got saddle shoes. Oh my gosh. I am so happy right now. Of course, they're high heeled saddle shoes. Okay, so we used to cheer for basketball, girls' basketball, because I went to an all girls school. I don't know if you've ever heard basketball cheerleaders, but we wear the, the saddle shoes and part of the cheering is the stomping. It's the sound of, you know, 20, 25 girls in saddle shoes stomping on the boards of a basketball um, court. And it is so awesome. It is so friggin' awesome. And I, I, I loved, loved, I loved doing it, but I wasn't, um, I wasn't able to keep doing it because I had to choose between doing that or doing uh, forensics, which was the public speaking and debate club. And honestly, I was much better at that than I was at cheerleading. I'm not, I can't do any gymnastics. Like I couldn't do any really cool jumps. I couldn't do any flips. So I really wasn't an asset to the team, but I could be the bottom of the pyramid really well. I'm not in love with this hat. N not in love with the hat. Not in love with the hat. The hair on these is really stringy. Her hair's stringy too, I just gotta say. But she's really cute. I'm really loving her eyelashes. That is very, very. I love me a nice big lash, you know. And then she's got, she's got French lingerie on, French lingerie. And these little, look at this, she's even got like garter the garter clips. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, <gasps> she's so cute. Oh, look at this. Look at her. She's like the perfect little 50s girl. We just, this hat needs to go. It does not work. It's got little pink bows up here that you can't really see. 
Like it looks cute in the picture. See, here's the picture. It looks really cute in the picture, so it looks good in theory, but in actual practice, no. In actual practice, it's just not working. It's not working. Not working at all. Yeah, it's just not working. Uh, but the, the dress, oh! Like I almost wish that instead of these being ears, they were round fluffs, like a French poodle. Like, you know how like a French poodle's head is? Like if they could have done that, you know? Like with a big poof, maybe one poof, maybe two poofs. I don't know, what do you think? But it's it's totally, this is like totally, totally the right. And it's got the crinoline and everything. The saddle shoes with the pink heels. Oh, oh yeah. This one, I know what it is. Do you know what it is? <laughs> she looks very cool on the, on the, on the. So this is series three actually. But it says series four on here. So do you see that? This says series four. This says series three. But that package said series four. Wait, let me look again. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh no, this said series three. Hashtag so profesh. All right, so we're back to this legend. Okay, all right, so I still, I know who this is. How did that happen though? I ordered them online. I ordered them online and I ordered three series four. I guess, I guess Amazon made a mistake. So that's okay. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Last one. Where's my straw? Oh, as I was starting to say, I know my froggy stuff. Froggy can take packaging and turn it into the Taj Mahal. I can't really do that. No, no. I remember when Caden was younger, we used to try to, even before we had a channel, we used to try to do my froggy stuff crafts. I mean, you know, they were, okay. Can we all be proud about how much I don't overinflate these anymore? Can we all just, can I get, can I get a round of applause, please? I have to fix the color correction on this camera. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Yay! Okay, so this is definitely series four. I'm so confused. And all of you were yelling. You were yelling at the camera the whole time. I know you were. Okay, so this is the palm. So it's a kitty. Of course, you could tell that from the shape, right? Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. You know what I don't understand? I guess this is bamboo. Like, I saw this, this, um, so I saw this on a box, and for some reason I thought they were antlers. So I was like, oh, there's gonna be a deer girl. But it's not, it's for Julie, and she's panda related. So I'm guessing that's bamboo. <laughs> Help me out in the comments, will you? You're like, woman, you are so dumb, it's painful. I know, it really is sometimes. You should be my, my, my son and my husband. They have just, oh, she's so preppy. She's such a prep, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's a total prep. Look at this cute little skirt. Ah, look, it's even got, look at how cute that is. And you can see it's got, even got little silver buttons on it. Now I'm gonna start singing Miss Mary Mac. Mac, Mac, dressed in black, 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 with silver buttons, buttons, buttons all down her back, back, back. Now it's it it's a uh, it there's a diverse uh, story. Like, like lots of people go in different directions after that point, but we all agree that she had silver buttons all down her back, back, back. Um, gosh, this is crazy. All right, here you go. Look at how cute the shoes are. And they're mint green. And mint green and pink was such the preppy thing in the 80s. I'm telling you, this is like such an 80s preppy thing. I was not a prep, although I went to a preparatory school, all girls Catholic school, uh, but I did not, It was I was not a prep. What was I? I was, um, I was my own person, but I was, I was, I was jeans and a t-shirt and sneakers, you know, and I've changed 
so much since then. Nope, not at all. <laughs> Changed a bit. Here we go. And her name is, I don't think I said, I don't, oh, I did. I said the other girl's name. This is Paula Perfect. Now her hair feels thicker, a little bit. It feels a little bit thicker. Maybe it looks less stringy just because of the color. No, it's, it's, it's as thin, it's thin, but it just doesn't look as stringy, but it's, it's, it's thin. It's thin. Yeah. Here we go. Here's her pretty face. Nice big eyelashes. Big blue eyes with that icy blonde hair. I like how they did this little touch with the little swept over piece. That is very nice. Very prep. Very prep. Totally prep. Totally. Oh my gosh. I gotta put the ears up. Aw. It's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Let me get her dressed. Yeah. Hey, have you ever seen The Bre Breakfast Club? Like, of course you have. Like The Breakfast Club is like for all generations, but I know if you watch this channel, you've seen The Breakfast Club, because a lot of you are my age. But like The Breakfast Club came out when I was like in high school, I guess. Was I in high school? Let's ask, let's ask our friend. Hey Siri. What year did The Breakfast Club come out? Which one? I found three. The Breakfast Club. Okay. Madonna, the, bre the Breakfast Club was released February 15th, 1985. That was the year I graduated high school. Wow. Yep. That was my era right there. And those were your, your options. And I was somewhere, somewhere between Anthony Michael Hall's character and Ali Sheedy's character. <laughs> Like, you're like, there's a somewhere in between there. It's like, yeah, because I was an honor student and I was very driven. Um, but I was also really messed up and confused and dark. Uh, very dark. I was in a really dark place in high school. Um, when I wasn't in a really dark place. Like, that was, kind of, that was kind of my high school experience. Sometimes I was in a really dark place, you know, except for when I wasn't in a really dark place and I was happy. And sometimes those things existed at the same time. And that is totally possible. You can, you can have two completely different emotions at the same time. It's okay, there's nothing wrong with you. Um, and if you are in high school um, or college, college is, whew, college was hard too. Um, that, that, those years of becoming, you know, that move from, childhood into adulthood are probably the most confusing times you will have in your life until and if you choose to reproduce. Um, then you become a parent and you're just like, oh, I think I've made a terrible mistake. I am so not prepared for this. And then you spend the rest of your life going, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm responsible for another human being's life. Oh my God, what have I done? So yeah. Um, it's scary, but yeah, I mean that it's, it's actually, there's a, there's a, it's a psychological term. It's called the cons consolidation of identity starts to happen in high school and it goes on until your mid twenties. And that's also, uh, your, your, uh, prefront prefrontal cortex, the prefrontal lobe of your brain comes to full maturity sometime between the ages of 23 and 26. So, um, yeah. If you're wondering, if you're in high school and college and you're wondering why am I such a hot freaking mess? It's because you're supposed to be. You're still consolidating your identity. You're still figuring out who you are. And then you spend the rest of your life still figuring out who you are. And you're gonna change constantly, constantly. There have been so many versions of me. I don't even know, we're like on Melissa version, you know, 23.2 at this point. I don't even know how many versions of me there have been. Um, but yeah, it's okay to be a hot mess. Yeah, and it's okay to be really miserable and have good times at the same time. Like you don't have to not have a good time if you're miserable inside. Like sometimes we think that. Sometimes we're like, you know, I'm so depressed and I'm having really, you know, dark thoughts. And so I'm not gonna go to that party or I'm not gonna go hang out with my friends. Or you see your friend calling, like back in the day, we didn't have caller ID, we just had the phone and somebody yelling up the stairs, Melissa, here's on the phone. Um, and you'd be like, oh, time to sleep. But um, 
Now you just don't pick up the phone, right? It's, it's okay to be miserable and in a dark place and do something fun. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. You're not denying your dark feelings. You're not denying your pain if you go have fun. You're not denying your grief if you laugh. It's okay. Trust me. See, I don't know, lately I've been very introspective in these videos. Okay, so this is Paula Perfect. Sorry, I had to do that. And her little preppy outfit, which I adore. And this also makes me think of Jillian. This is total prep. Total, total prep, right? What is her name? Claire is, is the name, right? Claire from The Breakfast Club, she'd wear this. She'd wear this. And then she'd do a cool trick with her lip gloss, which is very weird. I never tried to do it. Have you ever tried to do the Claire lip gloss? thing. She's so cute. So these, okay. So, so this one is from, so Fifi, I think her name is, is from series three and she's adorable, adorable, adorable. I do not regret getting her at all. And then Julie and Paula are from series four. Um, let me know in the comments down below, which one is your favorite? Honestly, I really like, I really like Fifi. Right? That's her name? Fifi, Fifi, Le, Fifi, Fifi. Yeah, Fifi Le Fluff. Fifi Le Fluff. I mean, I love all three of them, but I love Fifi Le Fluff's just commitment to the aesthetic. Um, but I also love this dress. And then I love, again, also a commitment to a time period and an aesthetic here. So let me know in the comments what you think and which one was your favorite. And remember, um, uh, these are make great gifts and there's multiple series. So if you haven't bought any for your kids, it doesn't matter what series you get. Just look at the symbol and even on Amazon and Target and Walmart, they'll show you the symbol. So as long as you get, hello camera. So as long as you get buy different symbols, your kids won't get multiples of the same, of the same uh, doll. So you'll be okay. Um, and just, you know, let them blow confetti all over the kitchen and then, you know, sweep it up or let the Roomba get it, you know, whatever. And uh, because they're really fun, they're really cute. And I think, you know, oh, homeschool moment, right? We've got different, we've got kind of different cultures and different time periods represented in these. And um, so that's kind of an opportunity to open the door to talking about some of these things because that's how homeschool really works. Homeschool isn't really sitting in front of a computer with a virtual teacher, um, but that's a conversation for another day. So thank you so much for watching. Love you guys so much and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.